Hello everybody, welcome back to another vlog. Today is Thursday and I'm just getting ready to head out the door and go to my second monthly facial appointment, which I'm really excited about. I got dressed today, so I thought I would show you the outfit of the day before I head out and I've just got like a fresh face. I have a little bit of mascara on the top and then some brow gel, but other than that, we're bare and we're ready to go. So here is today's outfit of the day. I have this little top that I got from Find Me Now, the label, and I got it in their sample sale. I showed it in a haul in a vlog, like, I don't know, a month or so ago. And because it is literally 93 degrees today in LA, um, I figured, you know, it's summer again, so we're gonna do it. And then I have my favorite little tiered maxi skirt from Hollister, and then I have these brown loafers that are originally from Old Navy, but I got them on thread up. So we are gonna head out, grab some sunglasses, gonna go for an easy brown pair. There we go, and we're gonna head out the door. All right, on my way to get my facial, and I am just gonna keep it real with you. I have been like really struggling with my ADHD lately, and like it's been a lot. There are just like little things that I forget and that I'm late for or that I miss or that I just feel like I don't have my shit together. This street of apartments is so cute. What the fuck? <laughs> Anyways, um, it just sucks. And it just sucks feeling like there's something wrong with you even though there isn't. It's just like your brain's just a little different than everyone else's. But I have just been like, Ugh, just little things will affect me so much more deeply and like I get so like raged out about stuff and like for example I had the time of my life thrifting last week with Alexa we had so much fun together and then I got home and I was like I'm kind of tired should I you know film this little thrift haul basically I filmed my thrift haul portion of like my thrifting video and when I sat down to edit it was it yesterday yeah I think it was yesterday um the entire bit like I was just like ready to post it and ready to go and the entire haul portion didn't have sound like I must have I don't know my microphone died or something and I didn't know and I was just like I don't know what it was I think I'm just PMSing on top of it so I'm just really extra stressed and I just was so I was like spiraling I was just like I never do anything right I'm always fucking things up and I don't know I was just like really really hard on myself it makes perfect sense that I'm gonna start my period in two days but yeah and then Drew has been going through like some health stuff I'm obviously not gonna talk about it it's nothing serious but it's just like he needs to see a specialist and then like that's stressful and then my mom is dealing with some health stuff that's like kind of potentially scary but like should be totally fine and I'm just like man this week is stressful I really like this neighborhood I'm like trying to focus on the road but so many of these houses are amazing I feel like I'm, I'm just doing a bad job at like inserting boundaries like implementing boundaries like I talk about it all the time and then when it comes down to it I don't know like people just keep <laughs> disrespecting my boundaries or oh my god there's a giant Jack Skellington that has to be 20 feet tall that's so funny I wish you could have seen that see ADHD in action right here right now I'm gonna pull over because I'm a little bit early for my appointment so anyway um yeah I'm just like kind of down on myself and just feeling blah but I, by the time I edit this I will already probably like be done with my period or definitely have already started so I'll be like oh yeah all of that makes sense now I'm not trying to like start this vlog off on a negative foot but I just want to be honest it's just one of those things and it comes and goes and I will be absolutely fine but it's just like Ugh, I'm just not having a good menti health day as they say. <laughs> I do really like my hair though My little ponytail is very cute and I have put on lots of gel so that hopefully my part will stay where it is Oh, I was like what's happening, but it's just an Amazon delivery <laughs> So hopefully I won't turn into a, a pioneer woman today, but we'll see and um, Yeah, I'm just getting ready to do my second ever facial at heyday not sponsored at all I pay all my own money, but I'm excited to see you know some more glow and some more changes as time goes on If you get regular facials, how long did you start getting them before you notice a huge difference? Because like the day after my facial I do notice that my makeup goes on a little bit better or I guess for like the couple weeks after but I don't really know if I noticed like massive changes just yet. I guess I can take these off because I'm not driving anymore. Oh my god Alexa just texted me and she got a tattoo today and it's so cute. She went back to the same girl that we went to a couple months ago. So cute. Actually today's two months since we lost Layla and I just feel like 
that could have something to do with it. I was just bawling my eyes out earlier with Drew on the couch because the vet that we had to put Moo down at um, sent like the nicest card and every single person who works at the vet signed the card and like sent the nicest messages like he's not in pain anymore, he was such a good boy, he's at peace on the rainbow bridge, you took such good care of him and like I was just sobbing. I just can't like I feel like I've just been trying 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 to push forward and move as fast as I can full steam ahead and I just sort of feel like I like haven't stopped to really think about what all has happened in the last two months like that's insane that's insane someone's mowing now I think that's my cue it's honestly it's like three o'clock my appointment's at 3 10 so I'll probably head inside I'm like there's men everywhere anyway hi this is awkward. I will catch up with you after my facial. So here's the before, and I'll see you soon for the after. All right, so I think I got like a little bit of moisturizer in my eyes. So my eyes are like so red right now, but other than that, I feel like a brand new baby. She literally massaged me and my face within an inch of my life. She also did extractions within an inch of my life. So my skin is like a little bit irritated right now, but she said that later it's gonna look a lot better. So all my mascara is gone and my brow product is gone, but here is the after. Here's what we're looking like. I'm feeling very sticky and dewy, which is how you're supposed to feel when you leave a facial. But uh, that was like equal parts relaxing, relaxing and and torturous because those extractions are no joke but wow I feel like a brand new woman I'm so excited so we're gonna go home make some dinner chill for the rest of the night and I will check in with you all tomorrow but wow if you've been considering treating yourself to a facial I would definitely recommend it also I was just getting ready to leave like to drive home and I feel a lot better actually so maybe if you're feeling pms -y and weird and your mood is just kind of thrown off and you're like annoyed with everything and everyone <laughs> get yourself like a facial or maybe like a massage or something or bribe someone in your life to give you like a nice diy massage facial whatever um because i genuinely feel so much better like i feel so freaking relaxed okay see you soon Okay, hello. It is actually two days later. Um, we had quite the entertaining day yesterday. Basically, we were in the ER with Drew all day and he's completely fine. Like, it's nothing super serious that we know of. He's just been having like a health thing going on and he's been having pain and he had been to urgent care like a week and a half ago or a week ago and he got put on an antibiotic and it didn't work and he can't get in to see a specialist until Wednesday. So anyway, um, he just wanted to see if there was anything else that could be done and so we ended up going to the ER, which was a huge mistake. <laughs> um, we were there all day, it was, I mean, I have stories to tell for a lifetime and truly like if you are a healthcare worker, specifically an ER worker, you are an angel. You are an actual angel and you deserve all of the good things in the world because you're incredible and I could truly never do that job. I'm like a very highly sensitive person. I'm affected by things around me and it, I'm also a metaphobic, so really bad place for me to be. There was so much puking and gagging and it was exactly what you would expect, obviously, um, an emergency room in the middle of LA to be like. So anyway, we survived. Um, it was at least good to get things Things looked at and um, now yeah he has this, an appointment with a specialist and all is well but wow so like last night we just vegged out on the couch we 
you know, just decompress. We watched Halloween Town, which was very comforting and nostalgic. Loved that. And now, anyways, I'm getting ready. Our friends are in town from Arizona. And so we're really excited. They're in town for a concert that they're going to, I think like Monday or something. Um, They just got in today. And so they were like, do you want to get dinner? And we were like, heck yes. So we're getting ready now. I'm actually, I didn't even say that. You probably didn't notice, but I'm in our other bathroom. Um, because Drew is taking a shower and that bathroom has a shower and this one doesn't. I'm just gonna quickly curl my hair. I have no idea what I'm gonna wear because it, the weather is really just testing me. It is again, truly 90 something degrees outside, which is so rude. We're all supposed to go to Disneyland tomorrow. How in the hell we're gonna manage that? I have no idea. So I'm going to, that was too much, too much curl. <laughs> I'm gonna finish curling my hair. We're halfway done. Here's what my skin is looking like a day later, by the way. Honestly, not bad. I mean, my rosacea is like always there. And honestly, the camera, like looking up in the mirror behind me and looking in this is like two different things. Like it's so much more pronounced in the camera. Go figure. But it's actually looking pretty good. So, okay, let's finish curling the hairs and then we'll do some makeup and get ready. All right, we made it. I got ready just in the nick of time. Our Uber driver is about 0.5 miles away, so I need to hurry up. Um, I did a repeat outfit, basically. This is an outfit that I wore when Alexa came to LA and we had a little staycation for her birthday. This is actually a skirt from Lisa Says Ga, but I'm wearing it as a top. This little slinky maxi skirt is thrifted. I have these Journey Collection, almost like those Steve Madden. Everyone had those platforms back in the 90s and early 2000s. It feels so weird to be wearing sandals right now, but it's very hot. So I don't know why it just feels, it feels weird, but we're gonna go with it. And my typical silver hoops and fake knockoff Tiffany's necklace from Amazon. Okay, anyways, I'm gonna put this camera away. We're gonna enjoy a night with our friends and we will catch up tomorrow. <laughs> It is like, honestly, I don't know, five, six days later, something like that. I have just been so busy with main channel stuff. I've been prepping for a trip to England and just like pre-filming as much as I possibly can. I got some last minute brand deal stuff, which is very exciting. So I've just kind of been busy with that. Drew also had his specialist appointment yesterday and things are looking good and like we're on the road to being fine. So no worries there, but I just got ready. I did a little bit of a kind of like sporty spice vibe today. I'm just feeling the spice. Spice Girls energy. I've been watching the Beckham documentary or the docuseries on Netflix. It's so good, by the way. And I just felt like channeling my inner Spice Girl. So I have this here. I'll show you in the mirror. Move all this stuff out of the way. We will get to that. But this is what I have for today's look. So I have this little tube top from Old Navy. It's just like a simple built-in bra. Absolutely iconic tube top. We have these high-waisted sort of like, they're kind of like Adidas pants, but they're more of like a dressy pant, but they do kind of look like just a track pant. Um, these are from Eloquy. I got these probably like a year or two ago and they're very comfortable. And then I have these cute little bows in my hair. I was very much inspired by the Pinterest girlies as well as my friends Alexa and Karina. They always have cute little bows in their hair. And my friend Evelyn has, I think these exact same ones. And so I got them on Urban Outfitters and they're precious. I love them. I just got out of the shower and got ready, finished my morning routine. I was on a walk this morning and while I was walking, I like checked my Instagram notifications and I saw that I had been tagged in an Instagram story from a podcast and the podcast is called Comfort Watch. And it's these two girls, I think Elizabeth and Chrissy and they have a podcast where they talk about comfort stuff and they're my age. It's very like millennial focused and I listened to it because they mentioned that they talked about me in the podcast and it was 
the sweetest episode. They talked about Layla and Moo and just like pet loss in general. And um, yeah, it was just so, so sweet. So I just wanted to give them a shout out. I'll link the podcast episode that I'm in down below. I think it's called Practical Magic, which what an honor to be in an episode called Practical Magic. And it just reminded me that like, I think sometimes when I'm filming vlogs, I have, I'm very Capricorn brain. So I am like just constantly like, okay, um, I've spent too long doing that thing there. So what can I do next? And like truly my life is very boring. And so I try to like come up with things for the vlog. And I think because I'm so like content focused and just worried about the next thing I'm doing, I don't really remember sometimes that like actual human people watch these videos, like human beings that are like out living their lives. And so it was just like so surreal. I was like, how do they know my pets? Like, how do they know about this? And I'm like, because I share it on the internet. Like, it's just crazy. It really just made me think a lot more about like, wow, there's just so much about my life that people have no idea about, like my family, my siblings, you know, tons of things that obviously I intentionally keep private. But anyways, it just made me really think about vlogging in general and like how wild it is and how you show bits and pieces of your life and like people consume that and they like remember it and it's just wild it's like vlogging is very interesting it's a very interesting uh world up here in my brain but anyway i just wanted to say thank you so much to them for the sweet shout out and for just like sending love my way i did shed a little tear when i was walking and it's still you know, something that's really painful for me, but so many people are going through it. And knowing that so many of you out in the world are like sending me sweet thoughts and words and love and support, it just truly like makes it feel so much better. So anyways, I don't want to start crying, but I actually need to film a last minute sponsorship. Like I talked about, excuse me, I'm burping. Welcome to my life. That's who I really am. But um, I did a big filming day the other day and this is the result. Don't mind the bars, it's very ugly. Um, it's just how apartments are in LA. But anyways, I have such a mess to go through here, but it's kind of annoying because I still have to film some of this stuff. I'm gonna set you up. We're gonna get this cleaned up as best as we can, and then we'll get started with our actual main channel filming because we got lots to do, so let's do it. Okay, where do we begin? I think we're gonna start with, oh, oh. I'm stressed. I really should do this like after I'm done filming my other video because it's also gonna be a mess in here, but my other video isn't gonna be like multiple outfits. It's just gonna be bottoms. I'm changing out the bottoms, so it should be fine. I'm just gonna keep this top on. So we have quite a few shirts. When anyone else is getting dressed, do you wear 27 versions of an outfit before you leave? Like I have quite almost never had a vision for an outfit and then just like put it on and walked out the door. Like I have to try on 10 million things. So, okay. Some of these things are for a main channel video. Hello, the lighting. And um, I actually have to, I forgot to film like close-ups of some of them. So I'm actually gonna put most of them back on. I need to like actually keep some of this stuff out. Well, this all can stay actually. <laughs> never mind. Oh my God, there's so much happening. Rest. I do not feel the best version of myself when I am like in a cluttered space. So I feel like, you know, cleaning up my space is like a good way to have a clean brain. That's how it works for me anyway. <laughs> Lovely. Um, somehow that happened. I think I was in like a filming panic and I was just like, I need to get a belt. So I was just like throwing things everywhere. It's never that serious, but um, for me it is apparently. Okay, we're getting somewhere. I desperately need to do like a little closet clean out. Hello, can you even see me? I have a major closet clean out that needs to be done. However, come closer now. However, I'm about to go on a trip and I'm just simply not taking that on beforehand. So it's all good. I have this pile of clothes that either needs to be altered or like fixed up in some way. I'm gonna put those in the closet in my room. I actually filmed so many fun main channel videos coming up pretty soon that you'll see. And like, I don't know, I've just been having so much fun with my main channel. Sometimes it very much feels like work because it is, it's my full-time job. But then other times I'm just like having so much fun with it and being silly and trying new things. And like, it just really makes me happy. So hopefully you will enjoy them. What other crap do I need to? <laughs> Put away, okay, we can put away these shoes. I have so many random pairs of shoes and stuff that I've shown in videos in here. We have these, these, I'm like hello? 
All right, I'm gonna put these in the closet and then I don't know, like I really wanna get some of this stuff altered before I leave for England, but I leave in eight days and I don't think you can get stuff back in time. But like this one, these two pieces specifically, I really would love for them to be able to. Maybe I'll set those aside and just see how long something like that would take. I don't know. Okay, last few things are like random accessories and things I need to put in the bathroom. I filmed a video of like, products that I think are either overhyped or that, you know, things that I was influenced to buy that I feel like I kind of regret or that just didn't work out for me. And there were so many products like laying around this room. All right, let's see. Um, can I put anything else away? I'm gonna set these by the front door so I can remember when I leave to go see and ask about these. And I think that's it. I think we're good. Thanks for doing that with me. It actually motivates me to like film something because this clip is like five minutes long and that's literally how long it took to do this and I've been putting it off for like two days. Okay, so we've got everything set out that I need to like try on and do sort of like close-ups for. So that's good to go. We got a full water because I do talk a lot when I film main channel videos. Got my phone that has like some talking points. My little strap is in the way. My little camera strap has smiley faces on it and it's really cute. But um, I have my phone with my like talking points and things that I need to make sure I say the right way. like coupon code, etc. Um, but this particular sponsorship is actually very, very flexible. I'm allowed to say literally whatever I want. And then I have all the shoes that are gonna go with the try-on. So I'm gonna do that second. And then first I'm gonna film my sponsored video. So yeah, we're good to go. I'm feeling much more organized. I'm feeling ready to tackle the day. The traffic is getting loud. So that's how you know it's the perfect time for me to film. Let's film. Cheers. All right, we're all finished filming. I'm actually sitting down to edit now. Drew's with me. Hi. Hi. I'm working. <laughs> He's working really hard. No, you're on your lunch break. It's fine. Yeah, <laughs> but I am going to finish editing this vlog actually that you're watching right now. Oh, there was crumbs on my shirt. Cool. I just had my peanut butter crackers. So I'm gonna have some lunch here in a bit and finish up editing this. I have so much editing to do coming up, but just wanted to say thanks for hanging out with me in this vlog. This vlog's been like over a week, I think. This was just kind of chaotic, but that's, that's life sometimes. I did get my office entirely cleaned up, which you should be proud of me, even after like all the filming and stuff that I did. So that was great. And yeah, thanks for being here. Thanks for watching and we'll see you very soon in the next vlog.